All right, coming up next, it's a UFC Fight Heavyweight Division Collision. pressure on this man here tonight. It's his first fight on the main card. No denying the success he had on the prelims. Maybe he should have stayed there. But here he goes on the main card. Challenges get stiffer. No eyeballs on him tonight. But if his past performances are any indication, most people believe he will shine. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! And they separate. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high. He's bad. Bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Beautiful take down lane. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Snooze hurt, serve him up, go get him. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. done to finish the fight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alcantara! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental...
Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. His opponent would be wise to get the guard up here early. This man has won his last three fights, all of them by flush knockout. Each knockout more impressive than the last. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. A uh, little single collar tie there. Fighters engaging in the clinch here early. Wild swing there. Nice job there defensively to block that knee attempt. Good work by Shogun Hua. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a fuel jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Kick to the body by Hua. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Shogun Hua. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Shogun Hua. Good punch lands. Nice uppercut. Right on the button. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you right to the target, let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Beautiful kick. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down there. Oh! Storming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. Round two winding down. All right, so big round four in there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed. And he almost got it. Improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big head kick. Got up and landed. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Ooh. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a fish. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, big left hook there. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh! I know you can get out of 
some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, who has got the full mount? We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Who is looking to lock up an arm bar here? up now and now the damage is about to start ground and pound strike is true man this is some serious ground and pound he's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas he's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire ufc and you're seeing why crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here and if you're the opponent you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see. Oh! He wiped them out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout. But this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alcantara. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like.